please do it. Oh, don't flip, don't flip. Don't, no! Can't get you out of my... How's it going everybody? Dragast here and welcome back to the wonderful world of Polybridge. So this game has finally been updated once again with its biggest update yet. We have unlocked two new worlds for us to enjoy as well as they added a few uh, building features to make the game slightly easier. Um, I do recommend if you haven't seen this series on my channel yet, you start from the beginning at part one because it's one of my favorite indie games of 2015. Hell, it's probably one of my favorite indie games in the last five or so years. Uh, just an amazing bridge builder and such a cute little game as well. I'll put a link in the description if you do want to start from the beginning. But for you, for you loyals who have been here with me since the start, uh, these are the two new worlds. We got Snowdrift, which is actually in the middle of the pack here, so it's kind of like a medium world. Uh, we got Ancient Ruins behind it, as well as 80s Funland, and then we got Zen Gardens, which is another new one as well. I'm going to start off with the easy ones, because it's been a while since I played, and I'm going to have to, you know, kind of get my grips to the game once again. And it is a snow world, and because we're getting into that time of year, I think it's only good for me to play it right now. So we got the start one, which is 3-1 Land Brace. We got $15,000 to transfer for two taxis and a large paddle boat should be fun so paddle boat is new i think taxis are new as well so it's nice seeing some new vehicles as well okay so as i said we got a budget of 15k we can use wood steel piston and cables event order is taxi hydraulic phase large paddle boat and then hydraulic phase and taxi did they have that event or order before because it's actually convenient and i don't think i've ever used it uh, but obviously, we got two taxis here, we gotta get them across with some sort of hydraulic bridge. Now I'm seeing we only got one attach point in this whole level, which is slightly worrisome. So, let's get started, I guess. I don't really know what I'm gonna build yet, but that's pretty accurate in Polybridge. I never know what I'm gonna build. So, initial idea, we're going to want to build a nice big steel beam down here. Uh, put it as close to the wall as we can. There we go, so it's just touching. Let's actually pull it up a little bit as well. Uh, attach this beam over to here as well. Build a simple T-structure up here and then some sort of hydraulic lift coming from the end. So I'm going to turn grid on again and I'm going to show you the new feature as well, which is pretty cool. Basically, you can copy and paste. So I can click this and then control C, I think. Oh, you can copy the whole thing? Holy crap, I don't need all of that. But yeah, you can copy whatever you want. So control C and then, yeah, you get the idea. Bam. Bam, just make shit quicker. Okay, now that we got that, let's add a hydraulic here that... Oh shit, I didn't realize hydraulics were that short. So, I gotta figure out... Hmm... This is, this is making it a lot more interesting now. Okay, so now that... Okay, so now that length's an issue, how many hydraulics do I have? It's probably two, yes it is. I wonder if I could use the top then and actually just delete this piece. And, oh, I, man, this is, <laughs> this is really confusing. It's been a while since I played, and they're adding a lot of new things that are making it interesting, to say the least. But if we pull those two together... Oh, shit. Well, that's not good. Okay, how about this? This is just looking like a weird bridge now. I don't even know if this is going to be able to bend. Okay, it works, though. That's important. Ooh, oh, shit, seriously? <laughs> oh, it falls down just a little bit. So what if I just try and kind of pull this up to deal with that weight? There we go. That should actually work, I hope. Oh, uh, yeah, there we go. Just had to do a little change there, and that's not what I expected. Yep, okay. Okay, so here's my pretty much my first thought process on the whole matter. We got uh, a cable going all the way to the end here. That way we're putting most of the weight on the left-hand side, and then just a simple hydraulic system right here. Now, I don't know if this wood's gonna be able to hold it, but we're gonna find out. Oh yeah, there we go. The, the first thing that broke was obviously this, so we're just gonna want to delete that, and put in a steel beam here. Are we actually under budget? No, we're not. Of course we're not! We're never under budget in this damn game. Uh, but let's see, that should actually... Ooh, it got red! But it's good. Oh, please tell me it goes far enough. Oh my god, that's actually really well done. It, it is really contracted well. And assuming it goes down evenly, I think we did it? Okay, I'm getting back into it. First one done. Well, I don't want to jump the gun here. There we go. Now it's done. Ooh, look at this. We got different budgets and stuff now. This is awesome. I mean, it used to show the budget used before, but it didn't have this neat little graph that we have here. 
So obviously, based off these histograms, I'm not doing very well. Basically, the further left the white line is, the better you did compared to most people. Uh, my material footprint's good, max joint stress could be a little better, and budget used obviously was a bit over budget. Um, first one in a long time, that's my excuse. First bridge I've built in probably two or three months, so... Bear with me here as we get back into this. Okay, so we got loop back. We got 42,000 wood steel cable monster truck and monster truck. Okay, so it's looking like, how the fuck? Okay, so I, obviously I gotta do some sort of loop back. Make it land on its feet. Wouldn't it be going in reverse though? I'm Maybe I just gotta jump right into it, I don't know. Okay, but I, I do get the basic idea here of what I gotta do. Basically I gotta do a jump over here, so that's probably good, and then some sort of looping system like this over here. Now, that might actually be good something just like that. Now, this is just a rough estimate. Uh, obviously, I'll probably need to do a lot of fine-tuning here. We do have $42,000, so that's quite a bit, which is good, obviously. Okay, let's just see if my jump works. Obviously, my loop isn't gonna work right now. Uh, this is just steel reinforced and perfect landing as well. I did get the point, which is important. Now, how the hell am I gonna reinforce this damn thing? Okay, so my jump works pretty good. I'm actually going to delete part of this loop, but I feel like I don't need that much. Um, I just needed to go backwards and then essentially crash into it. Obviously, safety isn't our huge concern here. Uh, God damn it, it's so close. Let me... Mm, okay, so we're just going to move this out a bit. Something like that, maybe? I, I don't know. I just want to see it jump first and then fine-tune this a little bit after that. I wonder if this is enough to reinforce it. Just a bunch of cables. Let's see here. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I just ripped everything apart. And of course it didn't go far enough, so it just goes back into the freaking water here. So that ripped apart my jump as well. I, I gotta take that into account if I am gonna use uh, an attachment to my jump. Okay, this big loop is just not working for me. Like, I'm trying all these things and it just automatically breaks. So obviously, I need to do something with metal here. And I feel like I'm making it way too big. It doesn't really need to be that big of a loop. It just needs to be a hard churn upwards, essentially. So what if I do something like seriously hard like that just to see what happens. And then I can reinforce most of the structure from this thing with metal beams. So I can do, well, too far away. So I'm going to, man, I'm going to have to be really freaking close to it. But I should be able to utilize this ground as well as um, reinforcement. And I just realized I made the big dipper. Amazing. Or is that the little dipper? I don't remember. Who the hell cares? Um, okay, so actually, what if I kind of make a structure right here like that nothing too crazy I'm just god I don't even I suck at building bridges to be honest guys okay I wonder is that no that's clearly not that's not gonna hold it but let's try it anyways oh god it did a little loop at least okay it's still not holding itself up but if I just build something simple kind of like that uh, obviously, we don't need to do a big jump. I'm making things way too hard for myself by jumping all the way over there. So if I do this and then reinforce this, just crazy reinforcements, we actually might be okay. Let's do, yeah, something like that. Oh, man, I'm hoping this works. Okay, let's try this here. Uh, yeah, n nope. That, <laughs> that one went off the map. Jesus Christ, this is so fucking difficult. Seriously. There comes a point when you just throw all logic out the door and go, more is better, especially in this game. And I'm currently at that point. Come on. Oh, 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 shit, why'd you guys go over? Oh my, seriously, I mean, I'm way over budget. Well, not really way over, I'm $5,000 over budget. These guys are going too far. I wonder if I just kind of fine tune this a little bit. The problem is this, I think, you know what? Let's just get rid of this one. Oh shit, no, I didn't want to do that. I don't know what I squeakied away. But I just want to get rid of those. Uh, I guess we can get rid of these as well. Oh man, I am really screwing this up, aren't I? Let's just try this and see what happens. Come on, baby. Oh, I, I realized what I got rid of, and probably something very important. This cable attachment at the top. Okay, let's try this again. Come on, please. Please don't break. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Really? Really? You were that close? Oh. <laughs> What the fuck? Where'd he go? I don't- I thought- I thought it was over. And he comes back through the fucking mountain and wins for me. That was great. We did awful again. We used a ridiculous amount of budget, but actually, more people use more money than me. Uh, and a material footprint is quite low, actually. Uh, max joint stress. Clearly awful. I suck at that one, but that's okay. Okay, and the next one is Triple Split. Original concept by Bolt986. 
That rhymed. I felt good about that. Uh, we got a bunch of $18,000, wood steel cable, and we have a sports car and police and tuk-tuk. Uh, that's kind of a weird combo, and I don't think, have we seen the sports car before? That thing's looking pretty badass. Anyways, let's try and figure this out. So we basically gotta go from A1 to A1, A2 to A2, and A3 to A3. We've seen things like this before, but I don't think we've seen a three-tiered one. And fuck, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I can't even think of it. And the thing is, they all go, I'm just curious, they all go at the same time, so I gotta change the road really, really quickly. Thank thankfully, the tuk-tuk's slow. But the car and the police, how the fuck? I'm gonna have to drop a road or break a road or something with the with the sports car so the police car doesn't essentially follow it. Okay, so let's just start out with the baseline things that we know. Obviously, we're gonna need to have a road all the way across. That way, the tuk-tuk can just toot along. Uh, and then we gotta have some sort of jump system with hydraulics up here. I don't- I can't even fathom how I'm supposed to do this, but I'm just gonna start out with the things that I know, and that's how to make road. And I'm gonna utilize this new awesome copy and paste feature to make that a little easier for me. So C, and then, yeah, look at- like, look at this! Look at how cool this is! This is so much easier to make, like, easy, well-done creations. Okay, now that we have the perfect bridge done, let's see if wood can hold this. Yes, wood, in fact, no problem can hold all these things. Level failed, obviously. I just want to make sure the tuk-tuk isn't ridiculously heavy for whatever reason, and no, it isn't. So we got the road done. Now I don't know what the fuck to do. The thing is, we don't even have hydraulics, so I can't, like, move road. I gotta make some sort of jump. Obviously, okay, what I think I gotta do, now that I think about it, is I need to make a jump. The fastest car is going first, that way it's, that means it's gonna go the highest. Police car is slightly slower, it's gonna go a little lower, and then the tuk-tuk can just jump on over it. So what if I do, what if it's like as simple as just doing something like that? Oh, no, that's the, oh, okay. That with a piece of road. Okay, let's just try this out. This is, oh, that's, that's, that's not, that's not working. Okay, so reinforce a little bit. We're already over budget. We're $186 over budget, or 146 and clearly not, not how to do it. Not how to do it. I mean, it's probably how to do it. I just gotta make a better jump, that's all. Okay, new idea. We're gonna turn grid off for this one. What if I just do some sort of road structure that will make the car do the jump? And then hopefully make the police car jump into the second one, and then the tuk-tuk kind of just falls down back into the road. Something like that. So I'm assuming this car goes fast enough to do a jump here. The police car kind of goes fast enough to do a jump from here, and then the tuk-tuk just falls down. Now if I can reinforce this enough, and then obviously fine-tune it so that actually works out, I think we should be good. Now the obvious issue is we have a very low budget to do this. I've used almost half my budget now for three steel beams. Um, I'm going to have to use some sort of wood structure here and make it really reinforced. Now the good thing is there's no real high impact zones on this road. They're essentially just driving up it. So I don't need to have an amazingly stable bridge. I just need to b basically hold the weight of the cars and that's it. Okay, so that's pretty much maxed out. Let's just see. Oh, for fuck's sakes. <laughs> wait! Wait for it! Okay, so yeah, clearly this is how you're supposed to do it. The fact is you just have to make a really stable structure all while doing that. I added a bit of reinforcement here. Let's just see if this works. Oh, yes! Oh my god, please, please, please! Please, cop car! Oh, okay, so the cop car, I gotta reinforce a little bit, or change it a little bit, rather. Uh, the tuk-tuk should work just fine, assuming the cop car isn't there. This is definitely how to do it. Now, the big question is, can I do this well enough to get the police car in there? What if I just add a small bit of road here? I feel like that's all he needs, and then add a cable to the top. Now, I am over budget once again, and I apologize for that, but this might be it. This might do it. Come on. Yes! Yes! Oh my god! And Tuk Tuk, you just gotta push that piece of road out of the way. Please do it! Oh, don't flip, don't flip! Don't! No! God damn it! Okay, fine tuning. It's just such a joy. Again, I'm spending way too much money here. I'm so bad at not spending money. Okay, so the fast car is okay. Police car actually just jumped over that and did totally fine. Come on, Tuk Tuk, please! Please don't fail me! Ooh, ooh. Oh, yes! Oh my god, I did it! Oh, thank god. Oh, that was so difficult. Okay, so how did we do? Not very good. Uh, material footprint's high, max joint stress is high, budget use really high. Uh, gotta say, I'm pretty ashamed of myself. We did go over budget on all three, 
But we're gonna end this one here, guys. Again, I'm not so much, you know, about strategy when it comes to this game, but more just having fun. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this. Next time, we'll be going on to Hydraulic Jump. That should be fun. Thanks so much, guys, for all your support. Thanks for watching and liking, and I will see you in the next one.